collection for me this would win hands down let's dive into mothership 3 subversive as a provocative collection of 10 cult classic shades in vivid violets mutational blues sumptuous greens and signature matte neutrals that offer pure vibrant color saturation and diamond sparkle intensity all married in one iconic palette and that it is so let's do a color swatch from left top left to right in clockwise the first one is called skin show beaver The next one is called Night Creature. The next is her first of two matte shades. This one is called Deep Shade. One of the stars of the show in this palette and it's called Giga Bite. Look at that beautiful green. Next we have VR Pink. The bottom row we have Astral Ghost Orchid. We have Blitz Amethyst. We have Black Metal. We have Lazarus. And finally, we have Extreme Black. So there are all the colors. As you can see, these shimmers are pure magic. They are such a majestical feat to put on your eyes. I don't care if you use one color and done like a Gigabyte or the VR Violet Shade or the Astral um, Ghost Orchid, which I think she did in one of her other palettes. I know she did Extreme Black in um, both one and two. So I'm going to go off now and put on my primer, the pat foundation, as well as the pat concealers. And I will be back to prime my eyes and get into this look. So stay with us. All right. So I am back. I use Mother Pat's 24 MD24 on my face as well as underneath my eyes to blanket out the dark circles underneath my eyes. So I love her foundation and as well as her concealer. I think they're very much well worth the investment. I've had my foundation now for about a year and I can tell you it's really, really helped me. It's a light to medium foundation. It's perfect for right now. 
in terms of very light, very breathable, looks like skin. It does not change your complexion or make you feel cakey or oily or greasy at all, but it does give you a very luminous finish. So really, really enjoy this foundation. I don't say it enough, but as you know, I love almost everything that Dame Mother puts out. So just wanted to put that plug out there for that. So now let's go in and blink it out these eyes. For that, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and put a dot on each eye. And then I will grab a fluffy synthetic brush and put it in. If you see like little fuzzies all over my top, it's because I had on a sweater on top of this and the sweater is very fuzzy and those fuzzies get everywhere. So I forgot how transferable those things are. It's a beautiful cute sweater. It's perfect for the cold weather but it does get everywhere with those little fuzzy things that hangs off of it but do you guys see i'm wearing a different color I'm trying to give you guys more looks from my closet instead of the same old black gray and the occasional pink Yeah, I do have other things in my closet. I think with this pandemic going around, I get kind of comfortable in my old like loungewear and forget I have a lot of other things that I could wear as well. So trying to ease on out and kind of branch out into new different looks so hope you like it let me know in the comment section below so now let's get into this palette and this was actually supposed to be my very first full-size pat mcgrath purchase but when i went into sephora site to grab it it was sold out so i wasn't able to get this first i actually got this second i believe but i will show you in a later video what i got first using my hundred dollar gift card so here we go with the palette you can't go wrong with any of these shades they are so beautiful so pigmented i'm trying to keep away from gigabyte because when i go in for this palette nine times out of ten it's to use gigabyte because i love that color and that's what kind of drew me into this palette in the first place was gigabyte and then I started playing around with the other um, shades here. This one here is one of my favorites as well. But I think I'm going to do... Uh, I think I'm going to do the purples today. I think that's what I'm going to do today. So let's play with the purples. I'm going to first take a synthetic brush... And I'm going to go into Extreme Black and I'm going to use this in the crease. And really deepen up that crease a little bit. The Night Creature is that first purple right here I'm gonna dip it into the brush and now we're gonna put that on the eye I love night creature it's really a shade that does not get enough play for what it brings forth. 
in terms of impact. I think this is one of those shades that is so overlooked. It's beautiful. And then underneath that extreme black just helps it to really pop. And then we're going to grab Blitz Amethyst with our rougher number two brush. And we're going to pop that right onto that halo. Ooh, that's pretty. And then finally for the lower lash line, I'm going to go and use something I have not used in a while. And that's the black metal. And I'm going to use that without any liner for my lower lash line. And I'm also going to use it as a liner for the top as well. Okay, babe, so the look is complete on the lips. I have Pat McGrath's Divinals Lip Shine. This one is in Boudoir Rose. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. And then just in the center, I used the Opulust in lavendering and I put that on the bottom and just press my lips together for that extra dose of shine right in the center. So let's take another look at Mothership 3 which is subversive. As I said before I think this is the sexiest palette that she has out of all eight of her large motherships. You can use any color here and build upon it. This is a perfect complement to any of her other palettes. You can mix and match and create really, really beautiful looks with this palette. And you can also play with it by itself. So for my book, if you have to get a palette and you love these kind of sultry, sexy looks, I think this is a palette that will get you there. This is Mothership 3 Subversive. I hope you enjoy this deep dive into Mothership number 3. Oh, I wanted to show you, I promised you I would show you how 1 and 2 have some of the similar colors. Right here is Mothership 3, 3 versus 1. So in here, um, instead of Skin Show Nude, we have Skin Show Fever. Instead of that uh, deep shade chocolate color, we have Depth. In both of these, we have Extreme Black. Instead of VR Violet, we have VR Pink. Instead of Blitz Blue, we have Blitz Amethyst. And instead of Astral Ghost Orchid, we have astral white. So those are some of the similarities between one and three. Okay, so here is Mothership 2 versus again Mothership 3. And I'll hold them both side by side. So again, instead of Skin Show Fever in 3, we have in 2 Skin Show Glow. We also have Extreme Black in this one as well. We have instead of Blitz Amethyst, we have a Blitz Emerald. And in both of these, we have Astral Ghost Orchid. So 2 and 3 share two of the same shades. So again, 
their repeats in the first three palettes. Other than that, I think they're all solid palettes on their own. I wish, you know, she hadn't duplicated the same shade in all three of her first motherships, but eh, what you gonna do? I still love them both. I still love all of my motherships, and I hope you enjoyed, again, this deep dive into Mothership 3. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you're new, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, and then don't forget to tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload. If you love this series and you have some thoughts, hit me down in the comment section below. Let me know, do you have Mothership 3? Do you want Mothership 3? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, you have now been bellified. Take care and I'll see you back here soon.